Hello everyone and welcome to this new Squash Minute. Today we will talk about high-level requirements, a feature introduced in Squash TM 3.0 and available in the premium version. High-level requirements describe macro features or blocks of features that can be cut into smaller features. In Squash TM, they enable you to organize and manage your requirements repository by adding a higher level above the standard requirements. To create a high-level requirement on the Requirement Workspace, click on the Add button and add a high-level requirement. You can easily spot them on the Requirement Library. They are displayed in blue, whereas the standard requirements are displayed in black. So now let's check a high-level requirement consultation page. So as you can see, they have the same attributes as the standard requirements. Their main specificity is their links with standard requirements. You can link multiple standard requirements to a high-level requirement. However, you can link only one high-level requirement to a standard requirement. These links are displayed in a specific block that you can see here. There are two ways to create those links depending on the organization of your project. So first, you can create these links directly in the requirement library by creating or moving a standard requirement under a high-level requirement. So that's what we are going to do here. We are going to move the standard requirement one under the high-level requirement. And so the link is made. You can see it on, the, on this table. You can also create links with standard requirements that are in different locations of the requirement library. To do so, on this block, click on Associate Requirements, the Requirements Library displays, and from there, select the requirements you want to link. So here we're going to select this one that is in another folder, and the standard requirement 3 that is in another project. We do a drag and drop on the consultation page, and the link is made with those two requirements. So this way, you have a lot of flexibility to organize your repository. And you can, for example, put your high-level requirements in a specific folder or project, as you want. Regardless of the organization of your, of your project, all the standards requirements linked to a high-level requirement are taken into account when calculating the coverage indicators. On the test cases, verifying this requirement table, you can see the test cases associated directly with the high-level requirement. This is the case for the, for the test case A. And you can also see the test cases associated with the linked standard requirement. They are displayed in gray. So this is the test cases 1, 2, and 3 that are linked to the standard requirement 1, 2, and 3. On the standard requirement uh, consultation page, a new field uh, is displayed. And from this field, you can view, add, edit, or delete the link with a high-level requirement. Finally, if you want to use this feature with an existing repository, it is possible to turn a standard requirement into a high-level requirement. So that's what we are going to do here. We're clicking this option, and the standard requirement has been turned into a high-level requirement. So that's it for today. Thank you, and see you next time.